Hello again, this is my second video for the day, but this one I wanted to split it in uh, the first one was about 9-11. This one is a little more on the on the more serious side. Um, so just a, just a disclaimer, I know people are gonna say, dude, that was like 10 years ago. I don't know why I've moved on. Why are you even speaking on it? Well, first of all, let me just, before I'm being judged about, you know, what I'm about to say, I do wanna say that, you know, this relationship I had, I'll just kind of kick off. Her name was uh, Natalie Atona. We went to high school together. I got asked to her prom. We were together three years. Um, you know, we learned some things and, you know, it, it changed the it's a relationship that changes both extremely and we both i mean i'm sure she's accepted to what happened during and after and the whole process as well as i did the same accepting before like what happened before the breakup the final breakup the after and the after the aftermath and what i had to deal with you know while not having fourth amendments right in another and in another relationship but that's a different story so you know, during those three years, uh, like she mentioned, I'm sure she probably mentioned it in a blog or something. I read it. A uh, little, some inaccuracies, but I mean, for the, about 75% of it, it's true. Um, I wasn't, I personally, I've come to realize, like, even during my past relationship and now, a little more now, that I wasn't exactly uh, boyfriend of the year. I was more like, it's kind of like, uh, well, I can't really say it's like Mark Wahlberg in Fear. Let's not go that far. I did some things that were not good. Um, so she probably felt that she was in love with me. Maybe she did. Maybe I did. We didn't at that, you know, when it's your first, quote unquote, your first love of your relationship, you know, in relationships, you don't know, uh, you don't know what it is, but you think you know what it is. And that's what I think we both, we thought we knew what it was. But what we went through wasn't love. And I think, um, <laughs> A lot of things, you know, it was very up and down. Um, she told, as she mentioned to me and in her blog, I mean, when I spoke to her a year ago, and of course she doesn't want to hear from me again, which is fine. Um, I had demons of my own, and I hate to say it, it was, <laughs> someone had to deal with them, in a sense. I And, you know, and then I had to, the way she, she, well, she labeled it as mentally unstable, which is actually false. Um, mentally unstable, that's, you know, going in the category of being bipolar, manic, depressant. That's a little hypocritical. Uh, or not hypocritical, but she has someone, who, a family member that is like that, actually manic. But yet, I mean, she's comparing two completely different things. But that's besides the point. Um, the thing is, is that I, I wasn't, you know, we had our highs and our lows. Um, just like every relationship, there's the ups and downs, but this one, there were too many ups and too many downs and there were more downs and then ups, I believe. And I, I come to realize, you know, you know, I, um, I felt that, you know, she was the only thing that I had left and, you know, I didn't really work on myself. I guess I didn't even work on myself technically on my second relationship, but now that I'm single for nine months, I'm finally working myself the last few months. Um, but that brings me up to another point. So the thing is, is that, you know, I don't know in her, when she got in a relationship and I was in fur work furlough, I found out like maybe two months after I met up with a friend, she showed me the, she looked up my ex and then kind of gave this weird look like, oh, and I said, what's up? And she told me, you don't want to see this. I'm like, see what? Just show me in a relationship from, you know, for X amount of months. And I'm just like, oh, damn. I think now is time to officially move on. Before I had feelings, you know, you're always gonna have feelings. A three year relationship, so it takes a while for it to get over, blow over, you know. But for me, it was just like, I think at that point, I uh, I moved on. You know, I may have like gone out on dates, but I even tried the Match.com thing in 2013, and well, I scored, I struck gold in August. And we both, you know, ended up in different relationships. We both broke up and got together you know, me and my ex at you know, different times. Um, so this brings up my point that, you know, I experienced a form of love. I don't know. Maybe it's still going to happen. I don't know. It, it's a really tough to tell. I'm not worried about it. But for, for Natalie herself, I, I somebody the other day told me like, hey, so something happened to her. I'm like, okay, well, why are you mentioning this to me? It's none of my business. 
she doesn't want to hear from me. You mean she wouldn't want to hear from me in heaven, or even if we went, if we both went to hell. I, I don't even think she'd want to hear from me. Okay, well, I mean, or because she could be, you know, maybe she'll get over it ten more years from now. So I was like, okay, well, what happened? And I didn't respond. So I asked another friend, hey, so I got a, a weird text saying something happened to my ex and then my the one from a long time ago. And they're like, okay, what's her full name? I gave her the full name. And it looked everything all fine, but then, then I see something that, you know, again, it's none of this is my concern, what her social life is, what her, what Natalie's um, relationship life is. I don't think she would really be concerned about mine either. I'm sure she knew I had a girlfriend for five years or X amount of time based on us living together. Uh, I'd be surprised if she knew that I was living in San Bernardino for two years. But anyway, so the thing is, is that I found out that, you know, Natalie had a boyfriend. She was falling Fall, basically she loved him and it, it's sad that you know when he just you know when she mentioned that he died in a car accident and I to me why I'm mentioning this is because this would have been to my knowledge or for what I know would have been the first time she would have experienced a, a loving partner and probably end up go getting into marriage or anything of that nature <laughs> what it's kind of it, it kind of struck me it kind of made me feel sad for her because she deserves it you know she deserves to be loved and uh, and you know down the road let's just say like they she, she got engaged a year from now or whatever and they're getting married or I saw them together here in San Diego or something and they were they were holding each other hand they had they had their rings in marriage I would have been really happy for her it would have it wouldn't have hurt but it would have been like you know I mean our relationship was 10 years ago and there was really bad blood 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 everywhere you know, bad everything. It's almost like a lifetime movie, except I hope it doesn't become a lifetime movie. And if it does, I want my check paycheck. But, you know, it would have been, you know, I, I wouldn't have known if she was in a relationship, of course. We don't have each other on social media for a reason. But it kind of, hearing about her losing a loved one, you know, that, that kind of hurts. It, hurt, it would hurt me if I lost a loved one. But it would also, it, I kind of hurt for her because, you know, I hurt her a long time ago in in a lot of different ways and I would have been very happy to see her happy even though she probably wouldn't care even if I did even if I text her and saying hey I'm really happy on your marriage that, that that would probably be the last thing I would should be thinking of but even let's just say for example I did it wouldn't fit very well which is understandable but you know it's I hope that she recovers from this, you know, moves on, puts her her left and her right foot forward and moves on, takes the time to heal herself because that would have been a great opportunity for her to experience love that I, well, I at least I would think it was for five years versus her. I mean, I guess it might have been the second or third time. I don't know. I mean, again, I don't know her relationship, but to hopefully so she can be happy you know, and be very happy, and based on uh, the screenshot, it looked like she was very happy, probably obviously happier than we were all together in the whole relationship, yeah, the first six months, the first year was great when we were together, but we were 18, 19, 20, I mean, it's a lot different, you know, you think it's love, all that, I mean, imagine if we did get married, I don't know, I, well, <laughs> you know, I don't know, we'd probably get divorced by now, but um, all in all, I hope that I pray for her to be on. I mean, I pray for her, you know, I will because it's not easy. It's one thing to lose a parent, which she did six months into our relationship back then. It's another thing to lose a loved one, someone she could have called pop potentially fell deeply in love with and made a husband. With that said, um, I hope I'm really sorry for her. You know, it's, it's a sad situation for her and I hope, one day when she's healed she finds somebody and he loves that person loves her more than any other guy did including me did for her you know i i don't think she would listen to this video i mean if she did it'd be a miracle i'd be like whoa okay but i hope that um and again you know this is just me saying some you know just being kind um any kind of kindness isn't going to work for her I mean, you know, from me to her, so I, I just, I just go here and vent, see what people think, I know I'm not going to get a lot of comment, positive comments, a lot of good feedback, maybe I will, I don't know, but this is the first time that 
I have discussed about a relationship, a past relationship. I'm not ready to discuss the recent one because I don't know what's happening right now. Totally two different, completely different scenarios, two completely different breakups. Same way, uh, there's some ways it's similar. Post breakup, uh, a little similar, but I mean, it's another story. But um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think if it's an unpopular video i mean i'll keep it up i just need feedback that's it i'm just i'm not looking for likes i'm just looking for feedback obviously i'm not going to contact her that would be really silly that would be really dumb actually but indirectly you know i'm sure she'll feel a lot better you know maybe watching this video or even not the video is not for her just saying like if she encounters it she probably has encountered my youtube page at one point um any any people anyone does so like subscribe comment let me know how you feel um and uh thank you for watching take care